Nintendo, they die I've been playing since diaper, so I develop good skills When payday hits, it's every day I'm hustling Looking for the bargains in Goodwill Thrift stores, I think for the remote So I play till my thumbs are stiff So on a post street fighter, toe-to-toe Y'all stupid, hit em with a duke kick Every toss part I've took it Sega, Nintendo, Atari, Neo Geo I'm racking up my scores while my armpits racking B.O. I'm racking up my scores while my armpits racking B.O. It's playtime, so say hi to gay mice What's going on, YouTubers? It's Chuckles from Nice and Gaming Chuckles, and this is the premiere episode of Yay Buys featured on Hatchet TV Networks. Now, if you haven't subscribed here, go ahead and subscribe somewhere around here. So, uh, every new Yay Buy will be featured on Hatchet TV Networks first. After two weeks, it will be put on my regular channel. So, those who, for those of you who don't even watch my videos, just come across them, it'll still be on my channel just later on. So, let's get this shindig started. Woo! Alright, um, I got a lot of shit, too much shit, not enough space, anyways, um, I found some action figures, this is Victor from Darkstalkers, paid two bucks for him at the Kmart market, and if you move his shit back and forth, his brain pops out, um, I like anything video game related and horror, so <laughs> Darkstalkers is a perfect match. But for two bucks, you can't go wrong. Someone painting his fingers blue, but I can take that off with alcohol. But other than that, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, bye. <laughs> Alright, we got that. Um, we went to some toy convention, and I got Psykill from GoBots. He's fallen. I got him for five bucks, uh, complete with the wheel. Um, I wasn't a big fan of GoBots. I don't think anybody was. But uh, they're coming, becoming harder and harder to find, and I, I literally didn't think this was gonna be for five bucks. So you can't go wrong. And out of all the GoBots, this was my favorite one because he was a motorcycle. And as a kid, yeah, hey, motorcycles are the shit. So I'm getting that guy. GoBots real easy to transform. Five bucks, can't go wrong. Um. I found this old Burger King Ninja Turtles toy from the 90s, early 90s. And uh, these are always cool. And every time I find these, they're always like five to ten bucks. And I like they're just McDonald's or Burger King toys. But no, there's a there's a big following for like the the old school ones. And it's Michelangelo with a thumbs up. And if you move his hand down, it's his car bunga. So I thought that was pretty cool to have. I got it for 25 cents at a yard sale. So, I mean, I don't know what it is. I, I like, you know, toys that came from food. Yeah. Maybe because I got most of toy foods and anything when I was a kid. So, yeah, those are my toy finds. Um, let's go on to the video games. Um, I am an avid collector of plug and plays. Especially ones I've never seen before. And these two that I found, I had never seen before. Uh, this is a Commodore 64 plug and play. And I was like, what the fuck? Commodore 64 plug and play. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So you see 64 on there. And uh, I have not tried it yet. The power is very coming on, so if I need some batteries. Um, I never had a Commodore 64. I don't know what games are on it, so. This was pretty cool to have. Um, I think on Instagram I saw OK Chief actually got like a Dragon Ball Z plug and play. And I thought that was pretty cool. But I'm always attracted to plug and plays I've never seen. Because you know you always seen the Pac-Man one, the Pac -Man or the Mortal Kombat one. But when you see something like this, like Commodore 64, I had to pick it up. It was only three bucks at a, at a flea market. So I figured, that, I figured this was a great find and an NAA buy. So I'm going to show you that. And I got this one at a Goodwill, complete and box. Konami, my first Dance Dance Revolution game. Lord knows I'm not gonna use this, not for the fact that you're moving a lot. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much Dance Dance Revolution, just made for kids. Like they had like the brat style kids on it, with the with the swag and whatnot. But uh. 
it comes with a own pad that plugs into a TV, you know, you have to do is put batteries in it. So that was pretty cool. So, I mean, I picked it up for uh, $4.99. So, plug and play in the box, Dance Dance Revolution. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, got a couple PlayStation games. Space Invaders at the Goodwill for $3. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's all redone, 3D style. And uh, I just like old classic games, plus the classic arcade version in the game. So that's pretty cool. So, the Space Invaders. And I got Spider Man for the PlayStation. This was a pretty cool Spider Man game. And because, uh, you know, the first time you got to like swing around buildings and whatnot. But it was a way better game than what came out in the Super Nintendo days and shit like that. And the Nintendo days. But got that for a buck at a yard sale. So, real happy about that. Uh, at the flea market, I got Macaulay Culkin's The Page Master. Man, this movie sucked balls. Everybody and their mom were into Macaulay Culkin's. I don't know why, but got that for a buck. The Page Master. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. And, oh, I got this, uh, me and Ruben Steele and Born Dead, Omir Gamer, went to that shitty at Goodwill that we always go to, and I found Captain Power, a VHS. Now, if you don't remember about Captain Power, check this out. Captain Power has come to TV, and you can be part of it. What are you doing? Aim the Power Jet XT7, fire invisible beams at the television targets, and score. Or be hit. The TV show fires back. No kidding. Captain Power versus Lord Dread. I don't believe it. Believe it, short human. The power of the future is in your hands. Believe it. Captain Power Jet and Figure sold separately. Batteries not included. Yeah. Um, the 80s were the shit. And so when you actually have a toy to interact with a, with a TV, was amazing. So, yeah, Captain Power VHS tape. I got it for a buck at that shitty Goodwill. It, it literally smells like ass. It smells like a butthole. I should probably wash my hands. Ugh. Alright, that's that. Um, I came across... At that same toy convention, a Game Boy Player startup disc, and I already started my GameCube to play Game Boy Advance games on the uh, the GameCube. And the thing is, I always find this one, but I never find the startup disc. And when I do find them complete, they're asking way more than I paid for. I paid $14.99 on this with the the disc and the, the thing itself. So I thought I got myself a pretty good deal because. There's a lot of titles on the Game Boy Advance that I want to play on screen, but you know, you can't, but now I can't. But for uh, $14.99, this was a half price books kiosk in the toy show. So half price books had better, better fucking prices than those fucker assholes that are all over the place trying to sell me a Sunset Riders Genesis with no manual for fucking like 30 bucks. So, yeah, that's another story. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of sad that Half Price Books has better prices than the fucking other guys, so I was happy to get this, so I think that's a major yay buy right here, so that's that. And uh, to finish it off, I got some Sega Genesis games. I did this with a trade, I picked up a couple titles I found for like a buck each. Uh, it was a couple Xbox 360 games, I picked up Double Dragon 3, the arcade game for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, it's said real martial arts action, arcade smash. This game sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this game is horrible. But it's pretty cool to have in my collection. I've been on a Sega Genesis buying spree lately, and, and I don't know. I just I like it. <laughs> so this Double Dragon Three, the arcade game. This was a cool buy. I got this on a trade as well. And Strider for the Sega Genesis, one of the first games to come out. Um. He was selling it for 15 but I gave him a trade of something. And it's from the store called Fox Clan. Now, this store is pretty cool because they sell vi retro video games, retro toys, uh, bongs, and fucking porno. That's like the best store ever. Check them out. It's on uh, Fox Clan, 7 7121 Highway 90 Suite, 
214, San Antonio, Texas. Um, yeah, this, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, go to, go foxclaim, go at yahoo.com. So, they have a Facebook as well. But this game is awesome. It's almost arcade perfect, in my opinion. Uh, it's a little glitchy at times because when too many explosion on screen. Well, other than that, dope game. Very happy to have this on my collection. And last but not least, I got this. It's in the same booth as I got uh, the Game Boy Advance player uh, for $5.99. Batman Returns on the Sega Genesis. Now, I love the Super Nintendo version. In fact, that's my favorite Batman game ever. This game sucks balls. Uh, it's hard to explain why it sucks balls. You literally have to play it to realize how much balls this thing sucks. So, well, I don't know. It's $5.99. Then it goes to my Sega collection, which is pretty much growing. So, happy to get that. Um, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe. Hatch TV Network and my own channel, Last Game with Chuckles. And uh, some more to come, and hopefully I'll, I'll find a gem out there one day, and uh, yeah, wait, I think I did find a gem, but it's not game related. Where is it? Uh, let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Okay, I am back. I found the gems I was talking about. <sighs> what do you think when you see this? I think it's a stack of picture frames. Well, you know, for some odd reason, my mind told me to look at them. And of course, these are not game related. Uh, I'm also a very big horror buff and a pretty much movie buff. So, I don't know what made me decide to tip it over and I'm glad I did. Because I found, uh, they're called movie theater lobby, lobby cards. And pretty much they'll show a movie and have these little like cards or whatnot. They don't do it no more, but they're they're pretty much collectible items. And a lot of these are worth a lot of money. But uh, I found Planet Nine from Outer Space uh, with uh, Tori Johnson and the aliens from that movie. This movie sucks, but it's considered one of the worst movies ever made. But it has a cult following, and they did a couple remakes on it with the Angry Video Game Nerd. <coughs> Uh, I found out that this is a reproduction, but I did come across an original, The Exorcist. The Exorcist lobby card. Uh, yeah, this is vintage, like the original was from the 70s, and uh, I don't know if you can check that out. But uh, yeah, I got these for two bucks, and of course I was like, how much for the picture frames? Oh, two dollars. Oh, like, oh, okay. And then again, these these suckers, the uh, uh, lobby cards, go for about almost seventy-five to two hundred dollars. I haven't checked which one I actually have, but I know they they go for a lot of money. And just to come across something as cool as this, I consider this a gem. Um, so definitely a yay buy right here. This is yay buy of the month. So yeah, that was very happy to find those. And I have those in my collection. Again. Thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next Friday and Hatcher TV Network for the next episode of uh, Yay Buys. I am going to be working some uh, board game and toy reviews on Life's a Game with Chuckles channel. So tune into those as well. Until then, have a good day or night or whatever the fuck. But, laters. <laughs>